Welcome back to a big Tuesday show. We've got breaking news kind of on Aaron Rodgers. Report from Diana Russini. Quote, Rodgers has provided the Jets with a wish list of free agents. He'd like them to target and acquire Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard, Mercedes Lewis, and ellipses, well-placed, Odell Beckham Jr. She, do we have her follow-up tweet? No, what is that? He's focused on special teams as well. Oh, Wants <laughs> McAfee to be the punter. Okay. He does. No, I, yeah. Yeah. Joe Rogan, strength coach. Wouldn't be surprised. the punter. He's got a Rogan shaman a... as team chaplain. He's got a lot of he got a lot of demands. Go do the nutritionist now. <laughs> oh, you go right ahead. Uh, Super Bowl champion Greg Jennings is here. Greg, you were not on the list, so yeah, first of that's all, BS, apologies. man. Hey, hey, hey you could be on oh, that list. Minute, wait a minute, because that's why I got my phone here. I, it, Anything? You waiting for group a beat? chat with Jordy? Nelson, <laughs> James Jones, myself. James Jones he might said, end up on there. He yeah. said, give us, give me a day. Okay. Oh, okay. Give me a day. We up. might, hey, Jordy, James, be ready. Get the band back together. The phone might this be is, ringing. Honestly, honestly, I will say this. Like, I thought it was, I, as much as this is about Aaron Rodgers and he's kind of holding both sides hostage, um, it's cool that he's doing this for these guys. Like, because... I, looking at it from that perspective, mm -hmm. like Randall Cobb, I don't know if he would sign anywhere right now. He like, just shut it down. I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't know if he signs anywhere. Um, Probably not. Be and so for Aaron to do this, ensure that he possibly has a spot. Alan Lazard, I, I believe he would definitely get signed somewhere. But for what, we don't know. But we know that he would be in a position where he can thrive and he has a quarterback that depends on him and really believes in what he does. Mercedes Lewis, kind of the, kind of the same. I don't know if he signed somewhere. Oh, we know. He would not be signing. He's 38-year-old you know, tight end I mean, who had six so catches left. That part, that aspect <laughs> of it, I commend Aaron for it. Now getting back to it just being about him, this is about him. And so I've been here like this whole – Tom Brady did the, no. It's, this is completely different from to, what Tom Brady did. Tom Brady went. He decided I'm going to Tampa, right. and then he started attracting guys. Aaron Rodgers. It, it appears to me what you said yesterday. He is reluctant. He yeah. has been reluctant. Okay. There is no There's, way you are like I am all in on the New York right. Jets, and you don't you don't just well, go. You need everybody to kind of yeah. come with you to walk into that unknown territory with you versus you just going out and doing it yourself. Look, I like the idea of them bringing in a bunch of guys, not necessarily ex-Packers, but I mean, you know, because they just Aaron Rodgers is not enough. They need – I wish he would have put some offensive linemen on there. <laughs> they had the second worst offensive line in the league last year. In Green Bay, they had the top five offensive line. So, you should be concerned about the offensive line. But here's what concerns me, Greg. How do the, uh, the Jets receivers feel? Well, I mean, you, that's three receivers. It's that transfer portal. And obviously, Garrett <laughs> Wilson, he's awesome. Yeah, like, why are you – I get Cobb. If you want to bring in Cobb just for – you know, he can be the wise elder that helps. Because I don't Third think he's adding much. How many wise elders do Yeah, need? I mean, he, he, <laughs> well, no, I hear, he's the wise elder. Lazard will be a good number two. Uh, Cobb, I guess, if you want. But Mercedes Lewis, I mean, come on. Now guys, it's like, what, you, guys, what are you trying to come in it, here and do? It, it, listen, it, what Greg was talking about in the beginning, I wholeheartedly agree with. If it were an uncapped sport where you can have as many players as go. you want. <laughs> if it were a different business, this is a great friend move. It is. That I, that I would like to think that if I were ever in his position in something, I would do it too. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. guys, no, you guys are, you, you guys are you, your own stars elsewhere. Oh. But, uh, but, no, I'm saying That's I, I didn't nice want to be insulting. No, no I didn't want to be insulting to you guys. Saying that, but, but I like to think that if you had full leverage over a company right. and you wanted to be like, hire my friends too. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. But in a salary-capped sport where you only have 53 roster spots, it's not a smart idea. And when we show you the guys' numbers, here's each of these guys' ages and production last year. So Al Lazard is the only one who would have had a market other than Odell, obviously, who didn't play last Correct. year without this. And L Lewis was the oldest player by a wide margin to catch multiple passes last year. And Cobb, 32 doesn't seem old. Here's the entire list of receivers last year that caught multiple passes older than 32. Deshaun Jackson, A.J. Green, Julio Jones, T.Y. Hilton, Cole Beasley. 
That's the list. Mm -hmm. So 32 for a receiver is old. So I say all that to say this. The Jets should pull the plug. Oh, and just go. What? They should abort this disaster before you go further down the road. Yeah, I'm not. I, I am not. The thing is where they go. You know what? Go to Lamar. And if you don't oh, okay, want to do that, okay, okay. honest to God, I know okay. you won't like this idea. But bridge it with Baker for a year. Oh, do no. something. <laughs> no. no I, I, Baker? I, no, hold on. I, I, you better I, off going with Zach Wilson. Saw, no, you no, don't believe no, that. You don't uh, actually think I know you I don't, don't like think Baker, he's better than Baker, but, but I'm just saying. The, Baker in New York, Baker's not good. Well, he may or may not be. He played well for the Rams with McVay. But set that aside, this won't work. And I am not bending the knee for a guy that I have at most for two years that I, I believe is going to walk into this situation as the seventh best quarterback at best in his own conference. Right. You can't, you all right, listen, if it wasn't enough that they hired Nat Hackett, and it's not enough that, okay, Alan Lazard's got a real market, you would feel comfortable with him. Once I get the third text, it's like Cobb, too. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, Mercedes Lewis, he's available. They're like, we know he's available. <laughs> so just like the Packers knew he was available this year. He's doing the same thing to the Jets that he did the, to the Packers. It, it, you and, can't and the, run business this way. No, and the problem is, like, these guys aren't going to make your team better. Right. Well, what right. about OBJ? We're kind of missing the o Odell in the room. Odell, yes. I think he makes them – the odd man out here, let's go back to the how you said the receivers will feel. Like, I don't think they feel any type of way. They know who they are. They, Four receivers? When you, talk, when you talk about Garrett Wilson, he's a stud. He's Garrett the, Wilson's right. the only Wilson, one I think who would feel comfortable. Yeah. Elijah Moore – Randall Cobb is not playing over Elijah Moore. Like, no. But Corey Davis, he's odd man out. Corey Davis, they would have to cut ties. I just don't see this happening to where they are improving the roster and they're saying, okay, whatever you want, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. I'm with you. Because, again, why isn't he looking at the offensive line? I, well, I'm with well, you more on if, if this is starting to get a little bit out of hand. Again, I love that he's doing this for his guys, but it's like, wait a minute. Is the juice need to pull worth the, the squeeze, Wilds? Well, you wanted him to be all in. Yeah. You want him to go to all the non-necessary yes. team activities, yeah. even though you can track. Yeah, and I think this is a workaround that? on that. Oh, that right. he wouldn't go. I, yeah, of course not. I'm because no why Randall. I don't need to? I'm on the same page with Cobb. I'm on the same page with Lazard. I'm on the same page with Mercedes Lewis. Well, what Granted, about, what about Odell? The, again, I don't know that Odell's showing up to a lot of off-season stuff either. No, okay, well, totally no one honest. wants to show up to no, the but I think stuff. That, like, but that's yeah. why Nick saying, look, I, obviously I'd say they go get Lamar instead of him. But I, I will say this, and, and I don't think it'll work. I think they win 10 games, max. They squeak into the playoffs and get beat. Max. They're not winning max. 10 games. They might not win okay. 10. I'm with you on that, but I'm saying max. But I got to be honest, as a spectator, I, I am excited about this because it's going to be just another well, exciting storyline sure. for us to follow. Uh, no, They're not going to win nothing as far as significant, but, but I, I but do But where would you it. draw the line? What if the next phone, like, you know what I mean? The, I was joking Jake about Monroe. McAfee, obviously. But what the, where would you it's draw the Lewis line? We saw ridiculous. in Denver. Like he if he tries they, to come get me, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, Greg's the, in New York but, all the time. But let's <laughs> say that's the list of players. We saw in Denver. I'd like an office. We saw that that seemed to not go over great. That you already kind of gave him a personal coach in Nat Hackett, who, again, I'm not in the room. I just know Chris Collinsworth told us he loves him because he makes him laugh and <laughs> darts together. Uh, again, take it up with Chris Collinsworth, not with me. Like, where do you draw the line? And as far as the offseason wilds, the only thing that I have seen confirmed on Aaron Rodgers' offseason schedule is speaking at a hallucinogenic conference. Yeah. I don't know Denver, about anything right. else on there. Go. And there is... I do wonder in an alternate universe where if this were Lamar Jackson l giving a list of washed players who he was buddies with, oh, he wanted boy. to go to, what? and he was at, he was going to a D instead of a hallucinogen, uh, a pot smoking convention, and it was like, and it was, I, I do wonder how the reaction would be, but that's neither here nor there. Wonder. But I know. Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I, yeah. exactly. I don't know how much I wonder right. as far as I know it what be. it would right. be. But there, at some point, there's a line. 
There wouldn't be for Mahomes, right? There wouldn't be for maybe Josh Allen. There's, there's, mm -hmm. the, but yeah. the, the, the more you deteriorate and the higher maintenance that you are, at some point teams got to say. Well, well, here's a good point. Mahomes wouldn't do that. Brady wouldn't do that. Brady did do it. No, he, no, he, he did not. He, first of all, he went there. Like you said, he, he went there went. first. It was brought all, in a few guys. But it he, was he, all a hand. Like he we also knew brought Gronk. in guys. Okay. Okay. But, but he brought in guys. He, was gonna be. he won multiple he, Super Bowls oh, oh, with it, two. It, oh, and that were he brought, brought in eight. He brought in Antonio here's, Brown. Here's the I'm deal. not talking about like here's the deal. Brown outstanding citizen. But he still could play. Those guys made that team better. He didn't make him go get Edelman this year. Great. That's it. He didn't, That's it. He didn't make they go they that helped them win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, I know they caught touchdowns. Yeah. Anthony Brown wasn't 38 years old with six receptions. It's fair. <laughs> the, guy's, the, the guy's trying to be successful. I'm not mad at it. He, he just, he's just trying to see how much he can get away with. That's it. It's all about attention. Okay. Oh, speaking oh, of. Oh, speaking of attention. Jimmy G, get your God, graphics God. ready. I saw the tweet. It looked favorable to me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.